With what sectors and more far and away colonies we established viceroys? Well, they were called like that formally, but of course they were elected federal presidents of the federal counties of the culture. More is coming. A space amoeba has entered one of our systems. What? Is wearier? Well, not one of our systems, but there's the armada of the... Well, the Dreadnought is there. Uh, hopefully the Dreadnought ig ignores that thing. I don't want it to... Ah, in the Bokrima system. We have a new gateway now. Very, very good. And we have something to choose from. What will we go for first? Monthly influence plus 0 0.5. Sounds really tempting. Colonial viceroys. Our control over the colonies is dependent upon us. Fin finding capable and loyal individuals that can be trusted to enforce the will of the government. Yes, colonial viceroys. Here we go. This is exactly what we need. And you hopefully will ignore... No! Oh, uh, well, that was short work, eh? Are you continuing now? Yes, okay, all right. Don't kill the amoeba. Well... Oh, well. Oh well. <laughs> we have more. Human refugees from the Holy Dominion of Cthul. Oh yeah, how are you do? Oh, you're suspicious. Uh, who are you anyways, Cthulians? Mollusquids. The descendants of deep sea mollusks that once dwelled at the bottom of their world's oceans. The Cthul have evolved over millennia to become an amphibious species that is comfortable on land or in the water. They worship a pantheon of gods, they revere as the progenitors, or more accurately, the old ones. One of these beings, known to them as Cthulhu, is believed to have some Cthulia to seed life on it and give birth to the Cthul race. Cthulhu, Cthulhu then ascended, returning to the stars from whence he came, leaving behind the clues necessary for his children to follow him into the great beyond. It is this religious belief that drives the Cthul to pursue scientific knowledge and wisdom with zealous passion. In their culture, faith and science are twin brothers that will lead the Cthul to their rightful place in the cosmos, the right hand of Cthulhu. <coughs> indeed, indeed. Well, um... I cannot imagine why they fled Cthulhu. That sounds like a beautiful, harmonious society, and they were also so peaceful. Mm. Culture cruising has been repaired. Oh, well. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? Oh, we're gonna wait here until until dawn. Uh, maybe maybe you could also join uh, join Galathor's Armada, right? Yeah, you could do that. Here we go. But the Galathor's Armada is now merging with Culture Crew. Oh, whatever. Then we'll merge with you. However it goes. And then we'll send them between uh, Procyon and, uh, and Betakovi again, right? Gateway construction in Terminal Aggress is ready for an upgrade. Here we go.
This will be great. This will be massive. Also here, Catrill. Yeah, we want you here. You'll get back to that place. And we want... Where's our Dreadnought? Yeah. You're coming to... You're coming to us. All good. It's all good. Research concluded. Interstellar expansion. And finally, we got all the star bases we need. And can go for a mega shipyard. Yes, mega shipyards. When we're looking around space, we often met cultureless, cultureless peoples. They were treating their citizens bad. And it was not even clear where the administration was that would provide food for the weakest, that would provide for the people in need. These states were doomed to go down, not like the culture. The proud warriors of the Hayanarti Corsairs have been eliminated. The once proud nomadic warrior culture of the Hyanati is no more. Forces from the Great Rashni Alliance have destroyed the last of the massive space stations that house the majority of their population. Refugees from their surviving civilian population have scattered across the galaxy. Although some Hyanati pirate and mercenary fleets may still be unaccounted for, the loss of their space dwellings is a devastating blow that they can't recover from. This puts a definitive end to their raiding, indeed. There is a new robotic election coming and as you can see that Limathar from the Council of Technological Progress is again in the lead. Not as convincing as last time, but nearly as convincing. And he's been good. He's been good so far. A very stable and uh, big time of progress has come. Even though Je Sergeant Je Joel Gorn is waiting to replace him. His eye for talent, a champion of the people, he might be the most uh, successful to challenge him. Limithar will rule again for another couple of years. We'll see how long, but he's doing a solid job. The influence cost of the star bases. He is just as so adept to giving us less influence costs at building star bases that he has made it possible to open up all these beautiful little bases all across the galaxy. And that is really what, what makes him such a champion of everyone. Alien Specimen Procurement, the director of the Museum of Exobology on Earth, has issued a request for the procurement of several live alien specimens. These creatures were spotted on surveyed habitable worlds, but they are difficult to capture. They require the full resources of a science ship for a lengthy period of time. Situation sure, 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 sure. We will do this. It's absolutely, it's, it's everything that we ever wanted. It's everything that we ever wanted. Where are you? Tarblack. Are they in the conclave of these guys? Really? <laughs> the conclave. <laughs> oh well. Got someone here. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Make a tour. And research. Research, research, research. So we've got three here. We've got one here. The Grand Tour. 
Oh yeah, let's send someone else out on an adventure. Maybe you with your research speed. You can go research these projects. And then these. And then these. And then we'll see where the last one... I think they're here in the Babaki Syndicate. Oh well. Here we go, I guess. Research here we go. Concluded. Nerve dampeners. Careful tuning of pain receptors allow soldiers to fight through what would previously have been debilitating injuries. What could we go for further? Let's find out. Um, there's a lot of beautiful things that we could, should, would do. Administrative capacity is one of them. We're just very good at that. So we'll follow that. It's time to expand our space traditions in the field of domination. What will we go for? Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. We think it's time for some imperious architecture. All government buildings in our great empire shall be monuments to the state, looming over the populace to inspire obedience, loyalty and awe. Capital buildings and housing buildings provide one housing each. Very nice. Very nice. So many people we can have then. Something indeed has happened, the drums of war. For the first time in recorded history, the warring factions of the Ultu have united under a single great Khan. This mysterious warlord, who according to some accounts is a powerful psychic, has emerged from their warrior caste and accomplished what most thought impossible. Through a combination of guile, charisma and military genius, the newly crowned great Khan has won the utter loyalty and devotion of all Ultu factions. Now that they are no longer busy killing each other, the Ultur are turning their attention elsewhere. Great fleets are massing for war, crewed by eager warriors, who are now steadfast comrade in arms, despite having been mortal enemies mere months ago. They are here. Relatively close by, a new threat is born. I am Dobgor, Great Khan of the Ultur Hall. And I'm here to announce to the galaxy that a new age is upon us. The dark era where the Ultu would senselessly butcher one another for scraps of resources or a misguided sense of honor has finally come to an end. I have solemnly promised my people a new beginning through the formation of a great empire that will forever enshrine the name of the Ultu species in the annals of galactic history. Hey, you could just join the Cosmic Compact, man. To those who stand in your way in our way know this, I will stop at nothing to realize the true destiny of my people. <coughs> if you pose us, the Ultra Horde will grind you into dust. Strong words. Strong words for nothing to show. Nothing? We'll see what appears Research here. Concluded. Months in, no, not not much, not much still. And some extraction patterns here, though. We'll see how that goes. Mm. Not so good. Yeah, we have we have specialized in armor. We'll go for. Everybody's. Getting to the end code. The building gateways. Uh, entering republics. Nice, nice, nice. Campaigns! Education, recycling, and... Oh goodness me, what is that? Ooh. Oh god, nanite actuators. 
But no, we want to... That's We'll save the nanites for a bit. We have far too few nanites to be able to afford this. Construction has concluded on the new gateway in the terminal egress system. A stable subspace space connection to the rest of the gateway network has been established and it's now fully operational. Nice, nice, nice and nice. And now... Mm, Definitely want another gateway like here. I think we'll just send them over. Where do we want it to lead? Hezekar Hive or Kunden Manufacturing? Ah, rather the Hive, I guess. But this is still the optimal placement because there's more going on there. So let's send this over. Optimal placement, right? Optimal placement. And a little bit more optimal placement here as well, I hope. Necker system. Yeah, we want something here. Over here. So we get a full um, jump, jump, jump collection. We need to be able to maneuver everywhere and very quickly. Vaknosha is opening up again. Ah, the Federation Builders. The Compact. What I... Ah! <laughs> I see why they are opening up. They are getting attacked by the Ultra Horde. <laughs> Great. Um, how about... Um, oh! Oh, that's... Well, that's not... That's not that trivial. But can they come quickly to us? Mm, kind of. They will overrun the Ultor. Uh, we have Orinthi secured. The small rodent-like creatures known as Orinthia native to Volsayet. And before I read on, let me send someone to Sezuitov. Where their habitat extends across most of the moon's diverse climactic regions. They breed at an extremely rapid rate and seemed to have peculiar fondness for chewing on electric cables. Procuring specimens was not a problem. In fact, after the initial creatures were collected, more of them made their way onto the ECC Lithum the Divisive 5 by hitching rides on the science ship's orbital shuttles. Exactly why the Museum of Exobiology requested Orinthi specimens remains a mystery. We get, <laughs> we get 10,000. Society research, which is great. That's a month of research, even more. Wow, nice, so nice. So we're moving over to the Sizuetov system in case we need some protection there, and we will we will need more there, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, yeah, Sizuetov system. Here we were. Whoop! You get that. You can uh, you can get some defenses going. That, and then um, after that we'll make an upgrade. Here we go. We need to protect Sezwetov a little bit. Of course, there's also the United Kenla clans, but who knows, right? There's there's trouble coming. The Ultor are not joking around this time. They are ready for trouble. Research concluded. Ah, more administrative efficiency. Very nice. Ah, look at that. Nice, nice, nice. How that went. Can we get some more bonuses, maybe? Mm, doesn't look like it. Apparently no nowhere and nothing. Well then we'll go we'll go for cheapest first, I guess. Uh, edict duration seems to be the way. It was so refreshing to go out once again and search the skies for oddities, for strange creatures 
out there. We have succored a sulcor swarm. The sulcor are swarming insect analogues, unusual both for their large size and the fact that they are lithowals. Feeding off rocks and minerals in the ground, one of the shuttles belonging to the ECC Kagul, the Righteous, sustained serious damage when it inadvertently passed through a large swarm and several sulcors began to feed on its hull. The construction of the special containment facilities required to hold these creatures has already begun at the Museum of Exobiology on Earth Trade. Oh yes, our trade. Oh my goodness, 10,000 again. Ah, this is what I want to see. Mm. See, Sezuetov again, yes. Now, there's another thing about Sezuetov and this stuff here. Now, if if this is taking a, being taken apart, you know, it might just be prudent to send someone else in here as well, and then take something out here. And uh, yeah, we have thankfully we have two. Uh, researchers here, so that's good. Research ships already, and that might just be what we need to take over some systems here for. Not free, but um, could be a good opportunity for sure. Governor Trin has gained a level. Very nice. In the Seekers Landing Sector. Fijantis is getting the Rukrima the Renowned. Getting into the first colony here, hopefully. Ah, we need so many more Eloys. And it's still peaceful, but that could change. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you going for this place? All things. Where are you? Are you going away the here? No. Yes, please. Please go away. Ah, these movements. Look at that fleet. Uglug is coming here. The mercenary warrior. Initial colonization phase commencing. Come on, we have to hurry up. They're pretty quick. Everyone. Everyone. Get ready. Roviana has the propulsion trade. Good, good, good. Where's our fleet getting ready? Hey, fleet. Are you finally going where you need to go? Go, go, go. Can you go, go, go there? Ah! Are you coming, fleet? Yeah, a little bit of reinforcement is coming already. You know what? Um, the culture crews and fleet will will get some cruisers, I think. Some additional cruisers, um, or or more corvettes. I'm not sure yet. Ah, uh, let's get some more corvettes going. Will you hurry up, please? <laughs> Find military applications. Yes, I think. Harmonic isolation, shield damage, armor damage. Harmonic isolation. Weak point, and let's go from weak point analysis. Who knows? It could be great, it could be bad. Look at how they ravage this. Chosen of the Great Khan are also coming. 
And we're waiting here with Ben Moe and Falstad. Yes, yes, we might. <coughs> we might choose him, we might choose someone else. Fantal. It would be more prudent probably to go for Iron Dust. More experienced, an engineer and a trickster. Couple of cruisers. Relic activation would be possible. We'll see about that if we can. Yeah, you know, I think it's time for the head of Sarkland. You call that we are here. May the enemies of Sarkland breed ye ugly children. May they choke on their nutrients. May their clothing disintegrate at inopportune and embarrassing moments. May their ocular organs spontaneously combust. May their... Yeah, Sarkland wills it. Where's the fleet? There's Sarkland's pilgrims here. And uh, Ben, lead the pilgrims to us in only 44 days. Quick, quick, <laughs> quick. <sighs> They're coming. Stop the <laughs> God. Yeah, Zarkling's pilgrims are joining us, I think. Will you? Yeah, we'll be integrated. Very nice. Twenty-one k. Ah, how good! How good is that? Yeah, how good is that? No. Mm. Let's see what we can replace here. Research Institute. What is a dimensional fabricator? Mm -hmm. It produced. Wow, that's a that's a pretty good building. But we don't want it here. We want something that gives us um, this is some workplaces, right? Ministry of Production. No, we don't need the Ministry of Production here. Not even the Research Institute. We would like more trade. Trade, trade, trade. What are you? You're in a good spot, yeah? Venmon Falstad is leading this, but we want Iron Dust to lead it. And where is our other fleet, by the way? Yeah, kind of quick, but not quick enough. I think Ben needs to go for that. Quickly, my friends, quickly! See what is done here. Research concluded. They're taking out what they can, and we will also do that. Edict duration 10% more. Nice. Huh. Climate control network? Oh well. I guess we can research that now. What's waiting here? The Sutharian Archivists, the 11th wave. Oh well, what can I do? Research concluded. Superconductivity. What else? Oh, are all of them all only for superconductivity? Oh well. It's kind of lame, but here we go with the climate control network. We always wanted some climate control, and now we, we, we have it. 
Naval capacity. Hmm. Edict duration. Art, no. Lifespan. I mean, the most useful is edict duration. So when in doubt, we'll go for edict duration. But the most useful at the moment, on the other hand, right, that is naval capacity. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go for that. It's safer. It's better. It's kind of good. Now, if they take out Gotara, then we will invade there. Invade is, well... Another day, another scientific breakthrough. What are you doing here? No, nothing yet, are you? Let me move here. Armor hit points, nice. And now let's see what else we can go for. In doubt, go armor, yes, or minerals. Minerals is also always needed. We, we kind of wanted we kind of wanted here you know it's closer to the home systems what's that the Bothrian reavers again mm. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Special project we have secured a Golantha herd Golanthas are large flat herbivores that have evolved internal gas pockets enabling them to uh, hover a few centimeters above the ground they move about in herds consisting of a few dozen animals Grazing on the moss and lichen that can be found in the windswept plains of Rikichi's Rik Roost. They are ruthlessly hunted by the planet's apex predators. Now biologists on the ECC Kaggle the Righteous estimate that only a few hundred Gulantha herds remain. One of these, consisting of nine animals, has been successfully collected and will be brought back to Earth. Nice, nice, nice. That's beautiful, of course. It's beautiful. Everyone is coming in here, defending, reinforcing the two fleets. Uh -huh 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 -huh. Let's see how that works out in the end. It's truly gruesome opposition here. Uthu Horde ex expanding. Azrin is not protected at the moment, not much. The gateway has been constructed in the Singularity system. Excellent, excellent. And it's there for us now. What can we do here? Ah, that is not yet being invaded so much, right? Kundan manufacturing can also not stop them, by the way, but... We'll see how it goes, we'll see how everything goes. Let's buy some alloys. There is no other way. Mm. There's a both there's even the raiding fleet of the Bothrian Reavers. What? <laughs> what is that? Ultra Horde. Certainly expanding very much. Now it's Reavers against Great Khan. And we have found a Tessargoid. The Tessargoid is an extremely lethal predator that stalks the dense jungles of Ridigus Prime at night, paralyzing its prey with electric shocks before sucking their brains out with its tube like mouth. Unfortunately, three of the crew members from the ECC Lithum, the Divisive Five, were lost to these creatures before a specimen could be secured. The Museum of Ixbiology on Earth will rename one of its wings after these brave officers to honor their sacrifice. Oh, these aliens. They should have transferred themselves into machine bodies. But okay. But okay. Initial colonization phase commencing. I guess not everyone can be a machine. So we're ready here. Are they coming now? Or what? Well, 
Well, well, well, well. I think we can... I think we can build here, or, or we'll make it just, just somewhere in the middle here. I think that's a better way. Just somewhere here in the middle. Where's everybody going? Uh, where are the Bothrians? The Bothrians have fled. The Khan has won. They're expanding left and right. An alien megastructure. They have made a science nexus, a testament to the ingenuity of intelligent life, has made the great Rushni alliance. Wow. They're equivalent to us in tech, and they are also Federation builders. If we had met them earlier, they could have joined us. But now, not so much. They are in their own Federation, the Star Alliance, a galactic union. Incoming transmission from the Mtokum Trogrenators. Honorable technological marvels of the Earth Culture Cooperative, we believe you to be a species of great promise. Though you are still young, you seem to understand and value the importance of biological and societal diversity, who seek to understand and accept that which is different rather than suppress and destroy it. Unfortunately, not all of the younger races are so wise. The end code in particular appear to take pride in cleansing the galaxy for all forms of life they esteem unsuitable. While we cannot intervene ourselves directly, we would like to ch charge your government with the task of bringing an end to their evil deeds, attack them and force them to ban the practice of purging, and we will be most grateful indeed. We will stop any further atrocities. We're tasked to... How, how can we do that now? Stop atrocities. We'll need to make war on them and force them to enter gen their genocidal practices. My goodness me. That's gonna be something. That's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be crazy. But first we must stop this strange invasion here, right? Well, at least I guess that. Yeah, I know everyone's flying in here. <laughs> now that's the question. Can they do anything? Or what will that be now? What will the Ulto Horde? We would like to discuss surrender? No, we'll terminate communications. We will not surrender to these mindless barbarians. Cultureless barbarians, for that matter. Fill sight leveled up. Expanding the citadel. Construction site is ready in the NECA system. Beautiful. Upgrade. We are connected more than ever before. Now look at that. Declaring war on everyone. Can La citizens association status? Yes. I wanted to vote yes, but what? What happened now? Yeah, we cannot go there. Hmm. Look at their rapid expansion. Wait. Some of that just became visible. Concluded. Bokrima Starbase. Nice. Uh, what do we want here? Trade up. We have some assembly yards. What could be good? 
Hyperlane Registrar? Not really. We want some good defense here. Of course, it would be... Defense Grid Supercomputer. The progenitors tasked us with taking out or rather changing the encode. But for now, our hands unfortunately were bound. We were looking forward to doing it though, to freeing the encode people. But we would have to become more powerful to do that.